Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can use GIMP to change our ebook cover so that it looks right on our new um, layout within Serif Web Plus. So when we made this originally, we made it for an iPad that would be in portrait orientation, um, but our web pages are not designed like that. Instead, they're actually going to be designed for an iPad um, in landscape orientation because that will sort of look quite good on a normal computer screen as well because most computer screens are landscape. Um, so just to remind you, if we're in Serif, we get to page properties and appearance, whatever you've got as your dimensions for your page, that is what we want to set for um, this uh, for the ebook cover. Now it, you don't have to have the exact same page dimensions for every single page. You might choose to have this for the home page or the title screen we're making now because that will look great on an iPad or a tablet or most um, web browsers as well because it will just fill up the screen nicely um, and it won't scroll. It will just be one big image uh, which people can click on to go into the book itself. After this uh, you might want to make pages that are a little bit longer if you do want a bit of scroll in there. But as we've discussed in lessons, um, because we're making an ebook, not a website, um, it is probably better to avoid lots of scrolling and instead to have buttons to go backwards and forwards. So I would just stick with 1024 by 768 for all of your pages. Okay, so back to GIMP. So we want to change the canvas size. Um, the canvas is the area that we have to draw on. And we want to change the dimensions to match our website. So we go to image and canvas size. And we can just change the width and the height here to 1024 as the width and 768 as the height. And notice we get a little preview uh, down here what it might look like. And we can just kind of move uh, our canvas around in there. It doesn't fill it up perfectly and we can tweak that in just a second. Uh, so press resize and here we are this is my newly sized image so this is the sort of area I've got to work with um, and I'm going to now do a little bit of tweaking so first of all I'm going to use the move tool and I've got the background image selected and I'm going to make sure I click move the active layer because I don't want the whole image to move and now I can just adjust my cables lovely and I want to also uh, change my um, gradient layer that I made. So I'm going to, for this one, use the, um, uh, no, not alignment tool, I want to use this one, the scale tool. And I'm going to, should be able to, I don't have the aspect set, so I should be able to click on it and drag it out so that that gradient fills the full width. So just drag that to the edge. Do the same on this side, drag to the edge, a bit more, pop, that looks about right, and press scale. And lovely, that's resized that. Go back to my move tool, go back to my text, I'm going to hold sh uh, command, no, nope. control, can I do both? Obviously not. No, one at a time then. Uh, so I'm going to choose <laughs> information age first, click on that. Again, move the active layer only. So I'm going to Oops, that's done the wrong one. Let's go back, let's click that. Here we go. If you hold shift as you move it, it'll help keep it in one line. And the same for the author. Click, drag, move over. Information age. Uh, that's pretty good. Quite happy with that. I might move it. No, I quite like that, actually. That's fine. So that could probably do as my... Um, my ebook opener, I might just want to add a little something to say sort of click to open or something like that here, which just helps the user know how they're going to open the ebook. So perhaps we could do that quite simply with uh, a new layer. And we could choose, let's make it white. And we will make, just select a bit of it. Maybe like this. Okay, got that bit selected, so now we can fill. That's going to fill in white. And we're going to change the opacity down to 60%. Is that working? That hasn't changed the opacity. Why has that not changed the opacity? Um, oh, 
because I've already filled, I need to change the opacity of the layer up here, 60%. There we go, you can see through it a bit now. And we can add some text over it. If I just, uh, just say select none, so I've got, not got anything selected now. And I can click in here, and we could just put open ebook. Okay, and I can make that a bit bigger. Um, and I could change the font if I wanted to. Uh, and obviously you can choose whatever you think most appropriate. It'd be nice to keep it sort of in line with the ones I've already already had. So maybe I'll, I'll do italic like the others. And come off that. Just move that slightly over there. And yeah, I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be look like a little button and people will know what to do when they see it. I may just move that over ever so slightly. This is where you start getting a little bit pedantic and it's probably not worth worrying too much about the little moves. Okay, lovely. That'll do fine as an ebook cover. So I'm going to save and I'm going to export um, and I want to save it as a PNG file. So I scroll down to the bottom, find PNG and I'm going to save it into uh, probably just my, docu uh, my desktop for simplicity's sake. Ebook, cover, absolutely fine. Press export. And we can, that should work. Just press export. All those general settings should be fine. And that's exported my file and I can see it's there on my desktop. And that's my exported image. Lovely, okay. So uh, over to Web Plus. All we need to do now is go to insert picture, from file and, um, oh, have I skipped a step? No, this should work. Um, because we're in Citrix, you should be able to access your local documents. If you can't, then just upload from your Mac to Google Drive, go into Citrix, download it in Chrome so that it's there, or if you're doing this on um, one of the school computers, just upload your exported PNG again using Google Drive from your Mac and uh, or your PC, Ben, and then uh, download it into um, the school computer and then you can use it in Citrix. So here's my local drive and my desktop. Here we go, click on that. Okay, that has now imported, um, or not imported, sorry, but it's it's, um, it's copied over from my Mac to Citrix and I can tell that because it's come up with a different cursor ready for me to draw in my uh, main picture. So I'm just gonna click uh, near the top and drag, and because it's made to the same dimensions, I can just drag it straight in and boff, there is my ebook front page. Now it looks a bit rubbishy, uh, that's just because of the way that Serif scales things. Um, don't panic too much if you preview this page, it should look quite a bit better. Yeah, that looks absolutely fine. Close that preview. So um, there's my ebook front cover um, and let's say I've got some more pages in here, so maybe I'm going to have um, Oh, what might one of my pages be? Uh, I might have a contents page. Give it a good name, obviously, and um, it's going to be uh, a child of home. Okay, so it sits under their contents. And so I want to make it so that when people click on this picture, it goes to the contents page. Now, in theory, I could just make this bit here a link uh, by using something called a slice, um, but actually, I don't really care where they click because, frankly, it's just one big image. So I'm just going to hyperlink the whole thing by right-clicking, going to hyperlink, and then site page, expand home, and I'm going to go to the contents page. Press OK. And now, if we preview this, uh, top tip, by the way, you can preview in Google Chrome um, and Internet Explorer, or you can just preview um, using IE within Serif. So sometimes if you want to check how it's going to look in other browsers, you can just do that. Uh, but for me right now, I'm going to press normal preview. And here I am, and hey, open ebook. And there I am on my contents page. Brilliant. That's all you have to do. So that's how we can set up our um, home pages for our ebooks. Um, so it looks like a book cover. Um, and then you can go from there into a contents page or into your introduction or whatever your main first page is going to be. It could be a landing page, whatever's up to you.